sludge is being dumped into the new sludge receiving station at the H Power Waste Energy Plant in Kabule. We're going to burn our poop and create energy from it. Mayor Caldwell says up until now, the sludge was mixed with solid waste and dumped at the Waimanala Gulch landfill. Now, at the station, the sludge and waste will be burned, creating clean, renewable energy and, in the long run, save the city some money. It reduces our footprint at the landfill and we get rid of something that's kind of smelly and we now burn it. But the other good news is by burning it, we're saving 22,000 barrels of oil a year, 22,000. It's $60 a barrel. That equates to about um, $1.3 million. Now a barrel of oil is going to go up again and so we'll even save more money at that point. But the other thing is we're selling the electricity that Covanta generates to HECO. And this additional energy we're generating is going to create $2.3 million of revenue for the city. So that helps us, you know, with our budget. But it lights up 6,500 homes on this island. Those are a lot of homes from the burning of human waste. Caldwell says burning the sludge will also reduce the need for an everyday landfill, which is one of his goals as mayor. Up to 90 tons of sludge can be burned per day. It's combined with the municipal solid waste. As you know, there's a big crane that puts yep. it into that feed chute. It's injected right there with the municipal solid waste, and then that goes down and gets fed right into the boiler and gets combusted right okay. away. Another important uh, feature of the system is the high-tech odor control system. Very important uh, to keep things contained within, and you'll see it up upstairs in this specific building, right on top of the bin where the sludge gets deposited. We are one of the leading municipalities in the country in terms of reducing the need for an everyday landfill. So many other cities still are putting a high percentage of waste into landfills, and we're reducing it down to the less than 10 percent. Smaller footprint, I believe a 21st century city should not have a landfill, and we're well on our way to achieving that goal. The mayor says about 700 tons of trash is generated every year on Oahu. However, the majority of that is recycled or burned, and only a small percent ends up at the landfill. It cost over $10 million to build the facility. Covanta, the company that operates the H-Power plant, will also operate the sludge receiving station.